Hello everyone, QC Runner for QC Runner Games, and I am back today with another episode of Shelter War. It has been a while since the last video. I have made a little bit of progress on my shelter, and we are going to go ahead and cover that today. I'm going to show you what the progress I made, where I've been, and where I'm planning on going. And I also gave a little bit of a tease in the last video about uh, giveaways, so I'm going to do my first giveaway on the channel here. And if you follow me on any of my other channels, any of the other giveaways I do, it'll be fairly similar. Or, yeah, the first one will be fairly similar, so it should be pretty easy for you guys to enter. And the winners will be getting uh, 500 buy coins each. It'll be uh, five of you. Uh, so be on the lookout for that somewhere in the middle of this video. And I'm going to talk about something I'm going to do with my squad. I'm going to try something a little bit different, see what I can do with that. We'll talk about that. And one other thing. Oh, I uh, want to talk about some future updates and things like that coming in the in the game. So, first things first. Let's just go ahead and jump in and cover where I've gotten to. I haven't made tons of progress because, to be honest, there's not a whole lot left for me to do in the game. I have everything maxed out, which I think I had that last time as well. Uh, not there. All of those guys are maxed out too. But um, not going to buy that because there's nothing to do. So right here, I got nothing left to upgrade. Everything is done. My Mgar is getting up there pretty good. He's uh, He's been dominating, doing really well. He's up to level 29, almost level 30, so he's almost maxed out for the current um, CC6 at the moment. I actually had all of my 10 slots filled. But this was an uncommon, this was a common and a common, and it didn't trigger this to show. So in order for your second level to show up, you need to have all uncommon. So I went ahead and merged my two uh, armor chips here, not chips, but implants and max oops sorry max it out so everything i have right now is currently maxed out and so i need a green armor here i need to have another health so i can merge to get another health and i need another dodge once i have that off all greens which will unlock this this item right here which i believe i think it's something that gives an extra 10 percent health to all um, tanks on your army so i have him and i have another one so it'll be helpful for sure to get that so i'm working on getting that one it's really hard to get these implants really hard so i'm going to actually talk about shortly an idea that i read on discord about a way to make it better and given one of my setups like i'm not going to do it the way it was done there i'm going to kind of do it halfway so i'm going to see if it works we'll see uh, we'll talk about that in a little bit um, so yeah, he's gotten to pretty good. He'll be, uh, we got 2,400 more to go. Not bad. 23 ish, 50, 35 to be exact. Uh, everybody else here is trained up max. So I got four times 30 right here for all of them. Got lots of legendaries right now. I went ahead and, um, got, um, artifacts as well for everybody else. We got the robo dog here. We saw that one, which is health and restore. And that guy's, uh, Carolyn's all maxed out with legendaries. I don't think they're all 30s, but they're close. So we got Justin right here. He's got the uh, blocks enemy drones for six seconds. I don't know if this is helpful or not, but you know, we got it. Three legendaries and we got two epics here. And his job is our other tank. So I got two snipers that I'm running right here. So I have um, two legendary legendaries. I was actually crafting. You can craft or get it in the doom, doom store and this one right here is pretty common it shows up all the time i'm noticing and it's there right now um, so i have two panther uniforms for both of my snipers and we're also running a artifact here as well which when a summoned ally fighter dies which i'm thinking is like the dog when the dog shows up when they die i think this is the case but i'm not positive so i don't love this one but i wanted to get something so i got that one oops let's go i think our another Thomas, here we go. We got our, this is the one that needs a little bit of improving. So we're still running our restore. This is our level 25 restore. So I need to increase this one. I, I crafted a couple legendaries and I didn't get, I didn't get anything other than just damage. And I'm looking for restore or maybe resurrection, not sure. So I didn't get it. So I'm still running level 25 here, which is fine. It's, it's suiting me for what I need. And then we have, this was from the last event, which was pretty good, doing lots of damage. And then our other sniper here is full legendary also with, uh, Oh, we started with Carolyn. That was the first one we started with. So all of that together gives us a total power of 67,752. Pretty strong. This allows me to get through 10 levels of Doom Dome. If I'm trying hard, I could probably get to 11, maybe 11 plus. Uh, the highest I've ever gotten to is 11. I don't, I don't really go beyond 10 at this point because it costs so much water. It doesn't really get me anything. And the reason I go through 10 
is it gives you a chance to get implants and I've gotten, I think two. So it's not a very big chance. So I'm doing this daily. I'm going through every day. So let's go ahead and look at my doom dome. Um, I've actually spent a few, um, a few of my currency here. Um, what do we call these guys? I forget drawn a blank. Uh, but you know, I got 62,000, so I'm, I'm just getting in there every day, grinding every day. So I got quite a few. So hopefully once CC seven comes, I'll be able to use these and get something big or, you know, if something good comes here, I can get that. So right now, like I said, we've got the Panther uh, uniform again, which I already have two of those. I don't need that. And then the potion right here is this one. I actually am interested in, um, might be better than one of the other ones I'm running, but it only when an enemy fighter is summoned. And again, I don't know if that means, like the enemy summons a dog, you know, healing dog, or whatever. Most people at the, at the, especially the top levels have something. So I think that's probably what it is. So this is probably a good one to get. So I got four days to make that decision, but I spent 11,000. So I got 50. So it's not a bad deal. I might get that one. I think people are running that and it's, it's pretty good. And nothing else here is going to get me anything good. So, but yeah, I've been basically grinding through level 10 every week or every day. Sorry. And it's been, uh, spending all my water. And then I get to the end of the day and I level my water back up, start again the next day. That's kind of what I've been doing every day, just grinding this out, waiting for the uh, next update to come out. And, you know, I'm not, the, I'm not the top by any means. I get crushed by people higher than me, but I can get up there fairly good. But my goal, like I said, if you get through CC10, you have a chance for a, an implant. But if you get to see, uh, if you uh, clear 15 levels in the Doom Dome, you get a guaranteed implant. So I have a plan that I'm going to try. Uh, again, I mentioned that I'm going to try it in a minute because it, it all the, the levels in Doom Dome seem to be currently. I mean, it sounds like after the release that might change the release of the new update, it might change. But currently your opponents are based on your squad. So like I mentioned in the last video, as I kept getting as I kept leveling up, my competition get, getting harder and harder. Once I got to four by 30, I just I couldn't even beat the first wave um, and I've gotten stronger. So now I can get through 10. So the idea here. And I saw somebody else do that. They they basically kicked out all of their fighters and started over and leveled people up and got up to level 26. So now they're going through and I don't know where they get to. But my idea is I have, for some stupid reason, I don't know, just because I'm a little silly. I have uh, actually before I cover that r real quick. I uh, the other thing I did is I've been trying to level up my fighters up to level five and every single person right now are five star. And I do have two five stars sitting here in the in the work. So we got Linda and just joshua both sitting here five stars waiting to waiting to go but they can't because i don't have enough space so i actually have uh, all five stars plus two at which will come in handy today so with that these two people right here for some reason in my mind i thought it was a good idea and then now it's kind of coming back to bite me a little bit but i took both of these people wait oh that's linda come on you there oh come on trying to click on the uh, the workers here just can't there we go so virginia look 30 30 30 30 30 30 and justin 30 30 30 30 i thought that'd be a good idea yeah fantastic but as it turns out for what i'm trying to do here it's kind of getting in the way so what i wanted to do is just kick out all my fighters start over because the level to 0 30 hit really quick especially if you have the automated guy going in there doing it all the time which i don't but if you did it goes really quick um so if I didn't have these, because when you, you're oh, at least in all the other games, I'm assuming this one's the same. It's not just based on the fighters that you have here in your, in your area here. It's not based on the level of these, which we could do a quick test. Actually, not quick, but if I was doing the Doom Dome, refreshing a new day, I could do a quick test. I'm pretty sure people have tried it and proven it's not true. But if I kick all of these people out, so all of my 30s, my squad will still have two 30s because both of these people are 30s. Even though they're not in armor, even though they're not in here, they're still training to be a, a top level 30 fighter. And I don't want to get rid of them because I have them all maxed out. Again, irrelevant. has nothing to do with anything. It doesn't matter. It's not going to help me. But what I'm going to try to do, kick all of these people out, keep their gear. I'll just take these two since they're already level 30s. Put them in here and put them with the top level 30 so probably a sniper and a tank i'm guessing not sure exactly and then i'm going to take two other people and just put them in there they'll probably be like a seven and a four and then tomorrow morning when i wake up i'll see what my doom dome um uh, opponents are and the idea would be to train up the other two up to i don't know 20 26 something like that 25 maybe and see where i'm at and the goal obviously would be to get through 
level uh, 15 of the Doom Dome. And since you're basing your comp, your Doom Dome uh, competition is going to be based on your your fighters. Hopefully, my fighters are going to be weaker, and with my level 30s, I'll be able to get all the way through. So that's that's the goal. I know I don't know. It's probably not going to work. And if it doesn't, it doesn't matter. I'll just take the last two people, which are these two here, who are waiting to be burnt, born. Love them all the way up to 30 again, and then um, and then I'll have four by 30 again. So not a big deal. So it won't take me very long to get back to where I'm at. So it's going to be the test. You know, just. We're not going to do any fighting here, so let's just go ahead and do that right now. So I know if I kick him out, I keep this, but I'm just going to be a little bit careful. We're just going to kick everybody out right here. Since I have all 30s plus two, I know I can. You know what? Let's just do it. I'm going to... Uh, you're about to permanently dismiss, so we're going to banish that person. It's going to take too long to do it that way. Hopefully I keep all the gear. I'll be highly, highly disappointed if I lose all this gear. So banish, banish. Sorry, a little itch there. Banish and banish. So right now my uh, my fighters are. I have to consider I have to consider them as fighters because they're level 30 trained. And I can hatch them now because I got rid of people. Not hatch, but whatever. They can be born. And I'm going to put them in here. And we'll have to train them up eventually, but for the, the point of this video, I'm going to put them in here. So right there. And right there. So there's our new fighters. And we're at 18,401. We can't really tell anything until tomorrow morning when the whole thing resets within like five or six hours or something like that. I'm not even going to put gear in it. I'm just going to leave them right here right now. Um, it's not based on what my my level my squad power is it's based on what my level is so i have a let's see close so we have a level 30 fighter we have a level three fighter we have a level four and uh, another 30. so our average is 67 divided by four is 16 ish it's almost 17. So our average level is 17. So hopefully our Doom Dome competition is going to be based on me at a level 17. Or is it going to be based on me with level 30 plus, you know, having some others? I don't know. Like I said, I'm not going to do anything because nobody can attack me right now. So not a big deal. So I'm going to see what that does. And that will be the, the deal when I go to bed. Uh, what time is it? Um, I need to not do that. And then I'll, I will go ahead and make some more people and I'll get two more, two more going in there. I kicked out four, so I need to make two because now we're, we're two less people here. Right. Oh, 28 dwellers. So I, I can, I can do two more, which would just be sitting in there in the wings waiting for CC seven. So anyway, I'll let you know on the next video, how this next release go or how this, uh, this, um, experiment goes uh, like i said it won't take me long. If it's a bad experiment uh, the worst thing would be if i lost all my gear so let's just make sure i didn't lose my gear um you're not supposed to so there we go we got all of our legendaries sitting there we got lots of lots of weapons we got some armor so as expected we have all of that which is good so anyway we'll see what that goes i mean the goal obviously is for me to get to level 15 but to get to level 15 you need to be able to Spend a ton of water. I don't know if you can get that much water per day. So then I have to spend uh, some of my coins to get that water. So that'll be another experiment, but we'll get there when we get there. So anyway, um, something different, something interesting to try while we're waiting for, oops, I've been going in here and crafting blue things and breaking them up. I didn't mean to actually accept that just to break these down here, um, which in the future we'll be able to use those to level up our hero. So, um, yeah, so we'll see how that goes. Like I said, next video. Uh, what else am I going to talk about? Um, we got the giveaway. Oh, okay, here we go. Let's, let's go ahead and jump into this. So on Facebook, if you guys are following Shelter War on Facebook, if you're following it on, they just created a new Twitter page. Uh, they have Discord as well. There's been some images that have been, you know, coming out over time. And the idea is, you know, these are something, these are things that are coming in the future of the game. Um, I am one who actually has access to some of the future of the game. I, I've seen some of the upcoming content. I can't talk about it and I won't be releasing it until after that content goes live. Um, 
So I can't really make any comments one way or the other, but I am gonna let you guys see what has been publicly released um, with some of these images here. So let's go ahead and turn these on right here. So I put this on my, uh, my thumbnail of the last video, maybe two videos ago. You know, this, there's, I don't know what this is. And my, my goal here is I want you guys to comment down below in the uh, comments what you think all of these things are. I mean, yeah, whatever. I, I honestly don't know what this one is. I have a guess, but I'm not going to say anything about anything because some of these I actually do know. So um, let me know in the comments what you, what you think about these images, what you think they are, what they think they might be. And um, yeah, be interesting to uh, get, some, get some discussions going on there. This is, I think, the most current one that came out. Um, so I don't remember what the description was on it, but it's a, uh, a picture of something with a bunch of sand behind it. So, you know, let me know in the comments, what do you guys think this is going to be? Cause it's not currently in the game. As a matter of fact, I actually can kind of see it. If you look, uh, look on your map, you can kind of see this. At least it kind of shows up on my, uh, let's see, let's, let's close this real quick. Close that, go to the map. Uh, at least I saw it on my phone. Yeah, it kind of looks like this thing right here. Um, kind of behind the clouds. There's a bunch of stuff here. It looks like there's something here too. Can't really see that. But here, you know, it looks like there's something here and that kind of looks like um, that. Uh, not that one. This one. Might not be. Who knows? Uh, but it looks like it could be. So, you know, what do you guys think that is? And we got this right here. This one just came out a couple days ago, I believe. Yeah, I think this one just came out a couple days ago. Um, yeah, I, I won't even put any commentary in that one, so let me know what you guys think about that one. And then we uh, lastly, we have this one. And I think we can all safely say we have an idea what that might be, but um, I don't remember all the text that was written on this, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna add in my two cents on here because I know exactly what it is, but I'm not gonna uh, I'm not gonna give any hints yet until this this is actually released. So interesting. Uh, a lot of a lot of um, a lot of things that have been put out there the last couple of weeks of future future items coming and there's been a lot of talk about an update coming and a lot of people on discord specifically are getting really frustrated because there's nothing coming out yet and not a lot of information so you know maybe this will be a little uh, an additional little teaser for everybody um but i will just say there's a lot of stuff coming and it's a lot of good stuff um there will be enough to keep everybody busy for a while i mean it's not the it's not the final from what i've seen um but there is a lot to do and there is a lot of time before you're going to run out of things to do so i'll just leave it at that so anyway it uh it's exciting it's interesting and i will be putting out a video really quick once that update it goes live which to be honest with you i don't really know when it's going to be there's still some bugs in there still some things that are being fixed so you know it, there might not even be an official release time on that yet but um anyway a lot of a lot of exciting things to come for sure so um those of you getting frustrated waiting just just be patient and the game is actually not even officially released yet it's still officially beta it's not even ios which is my my main device this is an emulator i'm running right now so just be patient it'll be out there and it will be great so um lastly we're going to talk about the giveaway yep that's it so being able to you know cover content on here and um talk about the game and things like that uh, for now, you know, for the, like I said, for those of you who follow my other giveaways, my other channels, I do weekly giveaways as of now, right now for shelter war, I can only do monthly giveaways and it will increase over time. You know, as, as this continues over, you know, over several months, this will Im improve to weekly giveaways and the number of buy coins will be given away will change as well. So we're giving away this premium currency up here, right here. And I have five five people can get 500 buy coins every month right now that's that's kind of where i'm at so right now we got 2500 to give away and i'm gonna i might mix it up until i can get a, a larger amount to give away but for now it's 2500 a month and the month is almost over so i'm just gonna do it right now give out everything so i'm gonna do a giveaway gonna make it easy for you gonna make it easy for me and i'm gonna have five winners and each of you guys are gonna get 500 buy coins so um be a good thing to keep because there are uh, easy things to spend that on now and in the future. So what it is, um, like I said, I'm going to, I'm going to keep it easy. So 
for those of you that don't know, uh, down below in the description of this video, there's going to be a Google form. You click on that link and you open it up and there's going to be three different things it's going to ask you for. You're going to put in your game ID, whatever you want me to call you, which, you know, most people just go ahead and put in, you know, whatever you called yourself in the game. So for me, QC runner. And if you go ahead and click on your gear icon here, you can get your ID. I have to have this game ID. If you don't give me this or if you give me the wrong number, sorry uh bad luck you need to give me the right number because this is how the game this is how people know how to give you the money this is how it goes into your account so you need to give me your game id you need to give me or your your uh, game name give me your game id for me it's 103578 and then you're just i'm gonna pick a random number and you're gonna guess it i have a random number generator on my phone that i use and i'll give you a range you're gonna give me your number and then the five people that are closest are gonna win and i don't know excuse me, since this is our first giveaway, I don't know how long it's going to take for those to come out and those kinds of things. So we'll, we'll work on those details and like I said, month to month. And then after that, hopefully week to week, we'll be doing this more often. It'll be uh, just uh, real quick and easy and fairly painless for you guys to get uh, free buy coins without doing a whole lot of effort. So we're going to, let's see the number range I'm going to give this week. And I, I actually, my goal here obviously is one, so you guys can watch the videos and um, get some free coins just by watching the videos. But you know, two, we're trying to grow the game. So we want the game to improve and the game, more people to come to the game, more people to follow the game. And three, for me personally, I want more people to come to my channel and watch my videos and things like that. So uh, because of that, you know, I tried to mix up where I, where I put this in my videos, the number range I put in the video so people can't just come in and just start throwing out guesses like that without even watching. So, um, so the number range I'm gonna give you right now is give me a random number between the number 1,000 and 2,000. That's gonna be your range. So go to that Google form, give me your game name, go to the gear icon here, give me your game ID, and then give me your guess between 1,000 and 2,000, put that in there. I'm gonna leave this open. It changes all the time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, what's today? Um, I'll, I'll stick with my normal, so five days. Once this video goes live, you got five days. It'll, it'll remain open and hopefully you guys will enter, put your pick in, only one pick per, I got, I got some rules on the Google form, you'll see, but only uh, one entry will be accepted per person. If you try to put in multiples, you know, if it's an accident, that's fine. I'll, I'll delete the duplicate entry, but if you're in there trying to gain the system, I'll delete all entries and you won't be, uh, you won't be a, a valid entrant. It's just a fun little thing, just nice and easy, nothing, nothing too crazy. So try not to uh, take it any more serious than that just uh just a serious thing so i won't give all these rules on the future ones this is just the first one you guys might not know exactly what's going on and like i said before for those of you that follow my other channels you know what's going on so anyway good luck to everybody um the the number range again is 1000 and 2000 give me your pick give me what you what you think it is and then the uh, the five people that are closest and if there's a tiebreaker the winner the uh, the tiebreaker goes to the person who gets their pick in first so good luck to you uh one last check on my list Yep, that's everything. So the real interesting thing for me is going to be what's going to happen with my Doom Dome set up tomorrow with uh, with my fighters here. So I'll get them all geared up and see where I can go. It'd be great if I can get through 15 levels so I can actually start getting some uh, implants so I can get my MGAR up to uh, level 2. Uh, level two gear anyway so that's that's certainly a goal so anyway we'll wrap it there so like i said uh, there's a lot of very interesting and exciting things to come so if you're getting frustrated try to be patient try to find something else to uh to keep your interest you know check out some of my other videos for some of my other games that i cover they're all fairly similar so if you actually like this game check out some of my other videos because there's other games that are very similar to this that are uh are fun and exciting and um going on as well so um thanks everybody for watching thanks for tuning in and i will uh be back soon. This has been QC Runner for QC Runner Games, and I will talk to you later. See you.